Na 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 hey, EU. Morning, Ruth. Do you know how much we export to the EU every year? Two hundred and forty billion pounds, or forty-four percent of our exports in 2016. Oh, you do. Good. I'm not going to let you distract me. You are leading the country to rack and ruin. No, that would be the electorate. Hand the tide, Ruth. Hugo Rinton Cleves is to attend his first interdepartmental meeting on Brexit as Deputy Brexit Minister for Relationship Strategy. The Brexit Minister, Chancellor and Foreign Secretary will all be in attendance. Intern Gavin is keen to accompany the Minister to see the function of government in action. So, can I go? To what? Must you play this game with him? He's been whining about it all week. Well, I've got to get my kicks somehow. Minister, can Gavin accompany you to the interdepartmental meeting as an observer? Oh, which one's Gavin? The bearded one or the schoolboy? I don't want to come. Why does the schoolboy want to come? Gavin? <laughs> I want to see the government at work, and this is the pinnacle of that, seeing the cabinet ministers deliberate. Archie? Six out of ten. Nice ass looking though. Okay. Four out of ten. Did you swallow a West Wing box set or something? Well, despite the cynicism of your colleagues, I think an observer would be useful. You can carry my box. Oh. Is Hugo going to this meeting a disaster in the offing? No. That's as long as they don't, you know ask his opinion on anything. <laughs> Children, I'm sure you have work to do. I mean, it's what I've always wanted to do. Except for that time when I was four, I wanted to be a dentist, but seeing the wheels of government turn, it's just, wow. I think it's admirable that Gavin wants to witness our great democracy in action. Well, they say there are two things you don't want to see how they're made. Laws and pies. And I think that's a mistake. Sorry. In addition to the minister's meeting and other events of the day, Clive has to contend with an unexpected visitor. Clive, Sir Jonathan Hubert is downstairs and he's insisting on seeing you. The Sir Jonathan Hubert. How many are there? Wasn't he permanent secretary to the Foreign Office back in the 90s? Yeah. Yes, retired with a nervous breakdown. Well, Tony Blair will do that to you. Uh, what does he want? Apparently he wants to talk to you about Europe. Right. Good. Sir Jonathan Hubert, GCMG, GCVO, was the longest serving permanent Under Secretary of State for Foreign Affairs in the 20th century. He served between 1990 and 1999, advising three Prime Ministers. Sir Jonathan, I'm Clive Everard. Ah, here he is, man of the hour. Things to discuss, my boy. You're the one dealing with Europe, hmm? Well, yes, on behalf of the Minister. Excellent, just the man I wanted to see. I have some thought. We'd be honoured to hear them, sir. Perhaps we could get this charming young lady to fetch us some tea. I'm sure she's more than capable of that. If you'll follow my colleague Archie here, we'll get started. Very well. This way, sir. Some tea. Give the man a little slack. Women voting was a new thing when he was growing up. Look, just get them to send some tea up, okay? We often have to take unsolicited advice from key governmental and industry experts. We have to treat them with the greatest of respect. The trick is to give the impression of listening, even if it's rubbish. 
Now, I've been looking at this European economic community thing, and I think it's a good idea. Well, we are looking at that as a basis for a future trading relationship with Europe. Good, because the advantages definitely outweigh any possible disadvantages. Good to know. So, I think we should join. Join? The, the European Economic Community. We did. I mean, we are members. Really? Well, there you are then. Excellent. But we are negotiating to leave. What? Why? Oh, why the devil would we do anything so stupid? It's... well, it's a long story. How's the font of out-of-date knowledge? It's such a shame. He was such a... If he was still in his right mind, he'd be probably running this whole show. Mm. Do you think we'll all end up like that? Lovers and madmen have such seething brains, such shaping fantasies, that apprehends more than cool reason ever comprehends. Is that...? Mm-hmm. Oh, bloody hell. What? Shit! 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 What? Just come here! Oh, Jesus cocking Christ, is that some kind of joke? Who the fuck's at Invisible Wonk? Gavin. Gavin! What was he thinking? You'd think if he had the brains to get... What ho? Hugo, did Boris Johnson just punch the Brexit secretary? Who told you that? We swore everybody in that room to secrecy. <laughs> Boris Johnson just punched the Brexit secretary, lol. So it's true then. Uh, but I told them all to keep quiet literally ten minutes ago. <laughs> it wasn't Jeff, was it? I didn't think they... Gavin could... tweeted it two minutes ago. Ga well, make him un tweet it. We can't. It's already got 537 retweets. Oh, fuck, and a hashtag. What happened? So not that I'm behind with the whole technology thing, but what is a retweet? I didn't think he had any followers. He's got some anonymous blog about being a junior aide. Every political journalist from here till Christmas follows him. 552 retweets. Oh. Come to that, what's a hashtag? I thought it was some kind of special case. Hugo, with the greatest of respect, we don't have the time to do this again. What happened? Well, uh, Boris has been learning Krav Maga, or is it Krav Maga? Never quite sure the pronunciation. Hugo, focus. focus. Right, so um, Boris was trying to show off his new moves. Not Boris showing off. And whilst he was demonstrating, he forgot to pull his punch. So the Foreign Secretary just punched the Minister for Exiting the EU in an interdepartmental meeting? N no, in the face. Christ. There's art. Who the fuck did that? Is that an ice pack? I've got no idea, but it's on Instagram and Facebook and 847 retweets. Oh. I don't know what Instagram is, but if that was Gavin too, I'm going to cut off his balls. Not if I get to them first. We have to stop this spreading. We can't. It has spread already. Game over. It's on the BBC website. Oh. Get Clive and Gavin. Clive's in a meeting. Now! And of course, people tend to underestimate Margaret. She's a fighter, I think she'll go far. I'm sure she will. Sorry to interrupt, the minister needs you. Oh, holy... Sir John, I really must attend to something. Will you excuse me? Of course. Man of the hour. I'm sure it's something important. I can assure you it's unfortunately not the case. Please allow my deputy to escort you out. It was good to meet you, Sir John. Deputy? My goodness. I had no idea. You must have thought me dreadfully rude earlier, asking for tea. I, I get so confused these days. It's all right, Sir John, if you'll follow me this way.
going to be all right getting home? Oh, don't worry about me. I'm a very foolish, fond old man. Four score years and upward, not an hour more nor less. And to deal plainly, I fear I'm not in my perfect mind. <laughs> Just like Margaret. You're the clever one, I can tell. Clive needs you. Still no official announcement on reports engulfing Whitehall that Boris Johnson assaulted Brexit Secretary David Davis at today's joint interdepartmental task force meeting. The drama unfolded after an anonymous tweet from a civil servant broke news of the scuffle earlier this morning. David Davis was seen later in the day with an ice pack on his face but has not commented on how he received the injury. No comment has been given by the civil service on whether the unnamed civil servant who leaked the information will be disciplined. Fire him. With respect, Minister, don't, I don't... Don't you with respect, Minister, me, I want him out. He's my responsibility. Only I can make the decision to remove Gavin from his position, and I won't do that. Therefore, you will have to remove me from my position if you continue with that course of action. Bugger! Why? Minister, we all make mistakes. He's here to learn. The government makes mistakes from top to bottom every day. This morning, the Foreign Secretary punched the Brexit Secretary in a meeting. That was a misunderstanding. A mistake. And I understand the Honourable Minister is keeping his job. That's different. Is it? Hugo, Gavin's an intern. He didn't know any better. Are you seriously telling me that you could have kept it under wraps? Gavin just beat them to it. Hmm. Valid point, I suppose. Then he stays. Well, it's always good to keep Boris's level of influence low enough that he can't mount a leadership challenge. And if we were to sack every minister for making a mistake, we'd have run out of people to be ministers a long time ago. I'd probably be PM. But what do we do? We'll have to fire somebody. Let me worry about that, Minister. Good news. Yes, you've been promoted. Head of social media. Promoted? I'm leaving at the end of the week. Redundancy package. Any of this ring any bells? Well, that's the bad news, Barry. I'm afraid you're being fired from your new position. You're promoting me to a new position, which you're then immediately firing me from. Paradoxically. Clive. Look. Gavin, our new intern, has released some information that he shouldn't have done. Uh, and I've persuaded the minister not to hang him from the yardarm. But for the sake of appearances, I need to give someone the heave-ho. And as you're leaving at the end of the week anyway... What about my pension? I work bloody hard for that. Your redundancy package and your pension are at the minister's discretion. Don't worry, it's all taken care of. In fact, the bean counters will probably insist on adjusting your pension based on your new position's final salary. For three days. Well, Clive, if it helps you out and doesn't affect my pension, I don't mind. Do I get a new office? Oh, you don't understand. I'm dismissing you forthwith. You can go home. Three more days off. Clive, have I ever told you what a good boss you are? So... If anyone asks... Oh, yes. Of course. Absolutely. <laughs> After several hours contemplating the situation, intern Gavin has decided to take responsibility for his actions.
Okay. Okay. Time to do the honourable thing. I'm a man of character. Something happened at the meeting. I don't know if you've uh, heard, um, but well, um, you see, it was it was really quite interesting, and so I thought it would be funny if I suppose I wasn't really uh, thinking straight at the time because it was such a shock, and um, so. I, See, I, I did what what I always do, and yeah, at the time I I didn't think anything of it because you don't do you? You just uh, you do, and if that's what you always do, it doesn't seem unusual. And well, I, I admit I I should have I should have thought ahead, and um, consequences should be. F should be foremost on my mind because this is this is a serious place. This is a place where the serious work is done, and but it's it's not every day you um, you see one cabinet minister just, just punch another. You ha you have to tweet about it. Hashtag Brexit KO. Um, I, uh, I bear full responsibility for everything. I understand, under the circumstances, you'll have, um, no choice but to, to take the necessary steps to, to ensure the, um, the, the integrity of the civil service. So, yeah, I, I obviously know You must do what you must do. Um. Um. <laughs> Eight out of ten. That was a lot more than 140 characters, but... In the true tradition of the civil service, you said everything while saying nothing. Seven out of ten. Impressive speech, but points deducted for using the word lol in a tweet. Mm -hmm. Gavin, you're not fired. I'm not. You've been skulking in the toilets for five hours. Clive sorted it. But uh, how? I fired Barry. He was your superior. Barry was my superior, but he, he didn't... Oh. He's leaving at the end of the week for six months in Alicante. Something tells me he's not too cut up about it. Right. Okay. Good? Yes, Gavin. But if you transgress again, you'll answer to Kay. I'll have someone checking your social media accounts at the end of every day. If I find out you've done something so monumentally stupid again, I'll shove your phone so far up your front. Well, okay, I can't, I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gavin gets to keep his job, and Hugo feels like a benevolent benefactor. But like Batman and Robin, a crisis management. And who is Batman in this particular analogy? Well, obviously I'm Batman. Well, I'm certainly not Robin, so... Well, I'm not Robin, am I? So, who are you if I'm Batman? Wonder Woman. You're imagining the costume now, aren't you? No.
It was me. I lead them. Uh, I'm sorry. It was me. I'm the one. Right. The documents. I photocopied them and sent them to the Sunday Times. Documents. The leak. The leak. It was me, definitely. It, you mean you tweeted that Boris punched the Brexit secretary? Yes, that's it, Twitter. I use it all the time. Right. Hi there, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to click the like button. If you're new here, click the subscribe button. If you gave us a cheeky share on Twitter and Facebook, that would be really appreciated by us. And if you're hungry for more content, why not have a look on our channel? I've got lots more where that came from. Thanks very much.